everyone, gift giving time is right around the corner and for many of you it's going to start the week of Thanksgiving. Maybe you're going to a close family member's house, very close family member, for Thanksgiving. Maybe you just want to drop something off on a neighbor's doorstep or a friend's doorstep and keep your social distance. Be that as it may, you might need some gift ideas. And I don't know how to describe this. They're not necessarily hostess gifts, they're not really stocking stuffers. I like to think of these as gifts to keep on hand in your gift closet. They're mostly around $25 or less, some are a little bit more, but I have 10 ideas to help get you started in your gift giving department this holiday season. Now I do have quite a few other gift guides from previous years, I will include them down in the description box, I'll link the uh, playlist up here and I'll add it to the end of the video. All of the ideas I think still hold true. 2020 has some unique circumstances, so I've added a couple gifts specific to this year. Let's jump in with idea number one. So it's pretty cliche to give someone the gift of a lovely scented candle, but it's only cliche because it works. I love getting candles and I have two that I recommend, well one in particular that I'm gonna recommend over and over, and those two candles are the Trap Orange Clove. There is a holiday edition, so the box is, is just beautiful for gift giving. And speaking of beautiful boxes, the other one is the new limited edition from Nest, the Blue Cypress and Snow Candle. They are perfect for the holidays, but to give it just that little extra something, why not include a USB lighter? I talked about this in my October favorites. I think they are so cool. They're just cool to have. You don't have to worry about setting anything else on fire other than the actual candle. And I found them in two places, Amazon and Anthropology. So if you're a big fan of shopping it over at Anthropology, definitely head over there. By the way, I was looking through the Anthropology gift section. There are over 500 recommended gifts alone on their site. It, you could scroll for hours. Anyway, I think that would be a really fun gift bundled together for just about anybody. Idea number two is a gift that I just gave to myself and my husband because both of our names start with M. These tile mugs from Anthropology are beautiful. The camera doesn't do it justice. They even have a little mosaic at the very bottom of the cup, just all the details. The only negative about these mugs are that because they have gold metallic paint on them, you cannot put these in the microwave, but they are great for this time of year. It's an easy last minute gift to pick up unless you just happen to want to keep 26 mugs of all the letters in a gift closet somewhere. But again, kick it up a notch, get the mug, just get the powdered hot cocoa packets, put a couple in here, and then go to your liquor store, get a small little, I call them the airplane size bottles of your favorite liqueur to add to hot chocolate. I recommend rum chata, that's a personal favorite. Put it in a little cellophane bag or a little gift bag and you are good to go. The third idea screams 2020. Hopefully it's a gift that's only good for one year. I would be really sad if we're seeing this still on recommended gift lists in 2021. That is a set of holiday face masks and some luxury hand sanitizer. I was on Old Navy's website and I saw they had several different five packs of different prints of face masks, not the spa kind, but the COVID kind. With holiday prints, there's I think three different sets of five to choose from. I think they're adorable. You might as well keep that theme going even onto your face mask. And we all have hand sanitizer, but why not kick it up a notch and make it smell really good, a little bit of a designer luxury, if you will, hand sanitizer. The one that I am showing you, I particularly like because it's a spray and it's flat. So it's really easy to tuck in a pocket or a purse or a backpack. It's only $10, it's not crazy expensive. I think it would make a really fun gift coupled with those holiday face masks. Number four, I have recommended I think, I don't know if every year, but I definitely recommended last year, they sell out so quickly that I put in my order before I filmed this video, and those are the Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Socks. They have them in sort of a solid, more marled knit yarn color, and this year they came out with the In the Wild, the leopard print ones as well. I personally ordered the charcoal and black socks with the leopard print. They're, I think, $18. The regular solid color are $15. They are incredible, everyone I know loves them, and since I am loving my big blanket version of it, I decided to go ahead and snap up the socks for myself. I think anyone would be grateful to get those socks. They are not just any kind of socks. They take it to, they're basically slipper socks because they're so cozy and so warm on the feet. 
Another repeat from year to year are face masks. It's a lot of fun to get a sample set of a variety of face masks. I always recommend the Peter Thomas Roth masks. They are always great, but I also found that Origins is offering a sample set as well. These fall under the clean beauty category, so if you know someone who's really into that, they would particularly enjoy it. And it's kind of fun to try different brands, and especially with so many people staying at home more than ever this year, I think anyone would appreciate a sampler of masks. Definitely under $30, so again, a great gift. This next gift idea was inspired by some browsing I was doing over on the Pottery Barn website. They do have a whole Hanukkah section, and it's really mostly just blue and white themed stuff. It's not necessarily specific to Hanukkah, but one of the things I saw in there was this beautiful faux flower arrangement in this beautiful blue and white ginger jar, and it was two or $300. And I just thought, I bet I could do my own spin on that. It's really a traditional nice thing to bring flowers to somebody, but there's always that, I gotta put them in water, it's a little bit of a hassle. Well, what if you gave them a faux flower arrangement? They don't have to worry about the flowers dying. You can put it in a beautiful vase. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is head over to Home Goods, see if I can pick up a few beautiful vases at reasonable prices. Another place I like to look is at home. If that's near you, check that out. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you know, places where you can get an inexpensive vase. And then you know those tulips that I love from Amazon. They are beautiful and white. They have them in red. Um, I have the hydrangeas. I just placed an order. I have them in white, but I placed an order for blue hydrangeas and I'm going to try and make an arrangement of the white tulips and blue hydrangeas for a Hanukkah themed faux flower arrangement. But it would also make a great gift in any color combination for just about anybody on your gift list. Gift idea number seven is all about games. I think everyone has been playing a lot more games lately. Now, I'm not talking about a board game where you all have to be around the table close together. This is a game that can be played just about anywhere. You can be six feet or more apart and still have fun. The first, it's an oldie but a goodie, and it's definitely an adult-oriented game, is Cards Against Humanity, although there is a family-friendly version now. I can't even imagine what that one's like, but I'm gonna list them all below. A Family favorite, age appropriate, eight and up is the game Heads Up. That's a lot of fun. Good old fashioned scattergories. I have some of the longest and hardest laugh episodes I've ever had. You know, we're just cracking up as when we played scattergories. And then I found one called Adult Loaded Questions that's very similar to Cards Against Humanity, except you supply the answers. You don't use the ones that the game provides. So you can tailor it to how naughty you want it to get. Gift idea number eight are desktop calendars. My personal favorite is the Karen Adams one. I've been getting it every single year. It's kind of, it's kind of a gift that can keep on going because once they have the easel, all they have to do is order refills for the subsequent years. It's a lot less expensive. And even if they have their favorite calendar over on the fridge or one hanging in their office, there's always a spot to place a desk top sort of, you know, the kind of calendars that are sitting on an easel. The two that I have found are, of course, the Karen Adams one. Lily Pulitzer makes a beautiful one. Erin Condren used to make one. I haven't seen it on her website. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that one. Um, if you have other recommendations of, of similar kind of calendars, please put that in the comments below. But those are the two that pop out for me, and I just think they're a really fun gift and something to look forward to when they open it January 1st. It wouldn't be a gift guide unless I recommended something from the Mud Pie. They make, I just, they're a store, they are known for just the really cute serving pieces, home decor, and now they actually have an Amazon shop on Amazon. So what's great about that is most of it's prime, so if you get invited somewhere sort of last minute, you have at least a three days heads up, depending on where you live, you can get that to your house just like that. I don't think anyone has enough serving pieces. You can always use something else. And I think they have really great serving pieces, really fun ones for the holidays at really good prices. The two that I really like, they have a guacamole, oh, it might be, there's a lot, but the ones I'm gonna recommend, first of all, there is a guacamole serving set, which I think is absolutely adorable. And as someone who lives in Texas, it's always time to have guacamole. There is a cracker and dip set that I think is adorable. It's an oval, sort of shorter serving tray. And then the three different bowls for dips are nestled into it. Obviously you could take them out and then put crackers in the oval bowl. And then the last one that I recommend is just a square kind of flat, like a smaller tray for crackers or cookies or some kind of little nibbles that you can put on the side. 
I like that they're on the smaller side, so none of them are going to overwhelm someone's kitchen storage and they're easy to take out and just bring out for, even if it's just for yourself, just to make something pretty to put on your table. And then my last recommendation <laughs> should come as no surprise if you've watched any of my gift guides in the last few years. The name has changed, the price has not. Um, at full price, this is $39, and it is the Bliss Plush Throw from Nordstrom. It used to be the Kennebunk Bliss Plush Throw. They took that longer name off the front. This is a kind of gift, like I said, at full price, it's $39. It makes a lovely gift, but this is the sort of thing you can grab a few, especially when they do go on sale, in cream or gray or a navy blue, just some general neutral tones just to kind of keep in a gift closet somewhere. So if you have a last minute thing you're invited to or a birthday you just forgot about, it is an excellent gift to have on hand. They are so soft. If you have a little extra time, you could get the monogram, which would always be appreciated. They're just lovely gifts for just about every occasion I can think of, for every gender, for every age, and I just have to recommend it for every gift guide that I do. So those are my 10 recommendations so far for this year for just the general gifts that are great for just about every occasion, but especially around the holidays. Please let me know in the comments below, would you like to see more gift guides for more specific areas? Do you want a teen's gift guide, men's, boys, beauty, clothing, home stuff, I will do my best. I will tell you that my men, boys, teen stuff, it, the stuff doesn't really change from year to year. I mean, maybe there's the newest PlayStation or something, but other than that, they tend to like the same general thing. But even so, I would love to hear from you. So please leave your feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you're looking to see this year. Also, share your ideas for gifts from this similar vein. I love hearing from you and I love how we all exchange ideas and help each other out. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video.